Good morning, y'all. So, today I'm going to do a little work here from the apartment. Actually, yesterday I did two, but I spent a lot of time video editing, so I really didn't do a whole lot on the car. However, I was able to get all of the fridge power hooked up, and I ran the cable down here all the way to the front. I didn't wire it up yet, but I got it ran all the way. And all the fridge power totally hooked up, as you can see here. The only fuse that is missing is for this outlet over here, which, because it's loose wire. So, yeah, that's what we got. Now I just gotta clean up all of this wire situation and drill the hole, obviously, for that outlet, mount that thing. There's a couple little, like, nitpicky things. I think the biggest challenge, like all of this I think is going to, you know, hopefully go back together. Obviously there's some wire cord management challenge, but I think the biggest challenge is figuring out where I want to put this little battery monitor. And I thought about just leaving it here in this box. However, that's telling me what percentage my battery's at. And, you know, I'm always looking at my iPhone like, what's the battery yet? On the camera, what's the battery yet? Let me check. Okay, battery's good. So I think it's gonna be useful to have that out. Now I thought about mounting it in this box top, in this lid, but the mattress I'm getting is gonna to have to hang down where this flip up thing goes. So I can't put it in here because then I'll have to like pull this mattress up to get to it. And we're gonna to have to figure that out too because obviously the, the fridge, <laughs> you have to pull the mattress up to get to the fridge. So there is that, but when driving is different than when stationary, you know. So I think the thing to do is to put it somewhere over here like we have the Starlink switch, which as you can see, I got it working again after. It's still a little bit crusty, but I think as I work it in, it'll work. I, if you didn't follow the videos, I accidentally leaked Loctite down on the <laughs> switch part that goes in and out. So that's not ideal, but uh, at least it is functioning now which is awesome and I got that relay situation figured out I don't know how I just in a lapse of stupidity that I hooked the relay in a loop to itself <laughs> so yeah glad I got that uh, straightened out but yeah I think over here what I was thinking about doing is building like a little box in here that I can put either like a tissue box and then a couple drinks and then inset that little thing in the top or just make it where I have a space for a couple drinks. I don't know. I've got to, I think, go ahead and run that wire out. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit torn that maybe I need to throw this flip up thing first to see how much space I have to work with and then grab those bottles I have and see, you know, if I can make a thing to kind of fit them in there where they're not rattling around in bit and then see if it's worthwhile to bring that thing through. Otherwise, worst case scenario, I just do recess it into this box on the top and if I really need it while I'm driving I can just leave this mattress kind of folded back most of the time not let it be forward and that's probably better anyway to let the fridges vent a little bit and this thing vent while charging so that ultimately is probably the best call to go and uh, yeah just let that mattress be folded back rolled back you know whatever so uh, I can see it, you know, from the driver's seat, looking back and seeing the little, where's my, you know, charging at. So that's the situation. I'm going to mess with this wire cord management. I have almost no memory left on this camera, so we might not film that. <laughs> okay, I was able to delete about 50 minutes worth of videos from this memory card. So that's what today's video is going to be. Stay tuned. All right, the first thing I'm going to do so that I don't close anything in and forget about some stuff that I need to do down there. I'm going to create an agenda in order. Wire cord management with the side clamp over there. Fridge split loom. Install the shunt control as we talked about. Then install the fridges. Add the side support over there. Replace the top and wire the outlet. Wire up the charger in the front. Install hinges in the pop-up plate. Install the drawer. I need to clean in the back. Let's add that to the list. Clean back install drawer if time build that second drawer 
cut bolts from hatch uh inside the the hatch that should be before the installing of the drawer so there's some original bolts that are like sticking up i'll show you guys here in a second as soon as i move this order of list so from i don't know it was like things that were installed in here before for the tire or whatnot Let's see if we can find one uh, way back there you can see it if you can see that it's like a sticking up bolt that I don't know if you guys can see that this is a DJI action 3 it's an older camera so it might not see and these action cameras don't see great in low light it's not like a real professional camera or an iPhone or anything so those are sticking up and I need to probably either grind them down completely or just in case I want to leave that for holding gear down in the future. I was thinking that I'll just take like a piece of rubber and put it over it and then zip tie it. So it's still a hump, but at least it's, you know, smoothed over. That's the best thing I can come up with. Uh, then we've got to go down. Okay, so now we're... Da, 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 da. I got to figure out though straps to hold the gear down. So I've talked about how I want to put those flat pack front runner bags right here and stack them with my clothes and, and whatever other gear I have. But I want some sort of net that holds it down. So I was thinking like if I put, you know, some sort of rope sticking up here and there that I could loop a net around it and that would kind of hold it down into this area per se, you know, at an angle, but it still could kind of pop up and down, you know, coming up towards the window. So I don't know. I, I don't really want to drill a hole or here, whatever, in the middle of the mattress <laughs> to have a rope coming up and over to strap this down. So I don't have a great, I guess, strategy on that. And I want everything kind of packed over to one side per se so that when I'm driving it's not flopping around and that this side's totally open and clear so that if I want to crawl back here and take a nap or go to bed or whatever it's just it's done I don't have to shuffle anything around that's the whole point of this design so yeah I've got to figure that out and how that's gonna work and maybe I do just do that I mean they're soft pack bags so hopefully if they do bounce up a little bit they're not you know hitting <laughs> the window up there but uh, yeah, I just don't see how how to thoroughly get them in this area without putting a hole in the mattress. I mean, sure, I could have a point there, point there, net over it that keeps it from going this way, and then a strap from there to here, and then I have one you know rope, one strap to unrelease or to release at night. Uh, that's a possibility. So again, I think that's a little bit less crucial because once this plate's on, you know, if I pop a couple of these screws over here, I can kind of pry that plate up and slip like a rope with a knot and then put it down and that'll hold any sort of strap. So I don't think that's like the end all be all if I don't figure that out right away. And I still need to figure out this mesh net on the sides because I want to do like a little side cubby storage area for all the blankets and pillows and stuff to kind of neatly go away so yeah there's just some little things like that to to figure out but you know it's always a process <laughs> is it ever done uh, hopefully it's it, it's done at some point and i guess i'll plug that inverter in and strap it some sort of way here i don't know maybe the seat belt's not used anymore so maybe we'll just drill through the seat belt and strap the inverter right here what do you all think <laughs> somehow it's got to go over here but uh yeah that's that's just the little details we got to figure out <clears throat> and then the water tank it's going to go right here got to figure out some way to kind of strap that but i think the best plan, the best agenda is to try to get this thing mostly done and wrapped up back together today. And then I can figure out later how I want to do these, you know, little side bits. And as I'm traveling and adventuring, we'll just say, hey, you know, today we're going to spend an hour or two or whatever just working on this little mesh net over here and tying a little thing or mesh net over there, you know, just coming up with these little strategies 
to do little modifications along the way that you guys can see and not just and that I can do and not just bog down in one place doing big things but just do little little tweaks here and there um, as I go along you know because I've also thought about from the ceiling you know hanging some sort of you know mesh netting I like that this is like clean and, and sleek but it's also been an idea like you know some of the sailboats have to you know have some mesh net where you can keep some vegetables and produce and things like that that are kind of best kept I don't know in that status but I don't want to impede with my <laughs> headroom either so that's something I got to figure out and then we definitely got to figure out on the see the windows are frameless so I got to figure out like a velcro situation to put screens in so I think I could do it from the inside and put like velcro 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 and then down along here velcro and then come along here with some more velcro and then down the door and that way it's like removable from the inside and I can put the window you know up and down and have a screen that doesn't let bugs in because I hate freaking bugs when camping so I'm definitely gonna have to figure that out how that kind of goes into place and I think tomorrow or maybe if not the next day we're gonna set off on a trip to the mountains with the Russian girl from tender so we're gonna do like a little couple day trip and uh, test out the the car and, and how it is with two people <laughs> so hopefully she packs light because I've like cut down cut down cut down on stuff and really want to not have so many things in here and uh, with my dad here back in June for the Normandy D-Day trip it was uh, a very tight packed filled car because we didn't even have the Starlink mounted for one so it was in here coming in and out each day as we stayed at hotels that didn't have good internet, BYO, Wi-Fi, bring your own Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, he had just a ton of bags. So yeah, a lot of gear. I mean, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I, I have a lot of gear when I go places, but he had like, I told him, I was like, you don't need to bring every little cord and adapter you have. And I'm pretty sure he bought and it brought every cord and adapter he had <laughs> and just like wires and wires and extra clothes and this and that and you know it's uh it, it was like the whole back was stacked up to the brim so it was a lot to shuffle so uh yeah the nice thing with women though is they wear like thin clothes they're small clothes i don't know it's a thing it's great like it seems like as guys we wear these like thick bulky clothes but women wear these little dainty nothing close they're cold all the time because of it but it allows them to pack light generally for that kind of stuff so that's a benefit but uh, yeah we'll see how that goes and uh, that's the that's the story so let's get to work Mm, there's a pesky little screw under there sticking up Let's see it that thing could be dangerous to wires I'm gonna have to do something with that or break it off that's the thing you got to watch out for it's just random little stuff like that everywhere that I was really careful when I ran this front charging wire because it's a thick wire, it's holding a lot of current, at least up to 20 amps, it's gonna get hot, and you never know. I mean, if I ever replace this little Renogy charger, it's a 16 millimeter wire, so I don't know what the total amperage capacity is on that. I think I could probably push on a charger that's running that, probably up to like a 40 amp charger if I really wanted to. I wanted to make sure that wire wasn't going to brush up on stuff. I think I have to leave this a little loose so that when I pull that top board up, I have room to unplug it and plug it back down 
because I don't know, you know, that board, yeah, that board has to come up before the fridge is. So the fridge has to go in and then the board goes in and then this thing goes down. So I have to leave some slack in here and hopefully this doesn't make rubbing sounds. I don't know what I can do to keep this from hitting that while I'm driving. Put some sort of felt from the Velcro there, maybe. That could work. See, it's all these little micro details that you don't think about. That, if you think about them now, it'll save you in the future, but it's just a lot of work. Wonder how hot that gets. Maybe we'll strap these up. Now this can be cut. This is the old wire from the You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this thing. Old charging cable. And I could unbolt this, but why spend all that extra work and energy for something that's dead and just remains there just in case I need some. I don't know why I just cut that. I just need to cut this short. Let me. Oh man. This cable sucks to work with. This is like a house grade cable, as you can see on the strands. Even though it's removed on that end, I'm just going to go ahead and tape it off nicely, just to be safe. Push this over it. I'll even fold it flat and then tape it up. There we go. So you could juice this thing up and it's not going to short. Okay. So I'm going to strap all these on these nice holes that I drilled last year in here. <laughs> oh, don't you love seeing holes drilled in a Lambo? Okay. Made in Poland. This thing here. So many international parts on this car. Mexico, Poland, Hungary, Romania, Czech Republic, Italy, Germany.
I think the safest thing to do is to zip tie the ground wire to the positive wire because otherwise it could get potentially near some bolts. But the positive wire is fixed permanently to the kill switch. So it's actually quite stiff. So it's a good place to fix the ground wire so that it doesn't go to ground. So you don't want the ground wire to go to ground. Now, that seems weird to say, why wouldn't you want the ground wire to go to ground? Well, the reason is because we have the, smart, uh, the shunt. And the shunt is the last line of defense, the last fuse, well, second to last. The last is the BMS, but this is more or less what we want to rely on is the last, not want to have to rely on, but rely on in a worst case scenario. If there's some sort of short of some sort, that that shunt keeps the ground from going to the vehicle. It'll burn up the shunt before burning up the batteries. That's the, the idea. So as long as I can keep this ground wire elevated up above and keep it from touching anything that would ground, that is how we win. By win, I mean just not lose. <laughs> In this case, winning is not shorting. All of these zip ties are just to keep everything from vibrating around. That's the idea. So need to keep it loose enough that I can pull this panel in and out for just in case service. So it's a bit of a trickery. sharp edge. Alright y'all, I'm down to 
my last zip tie. So that means we're gonna have to make a trip into town to the market. Get some more zip ties. By my calculation, I need at least one more there, one more up here, and one more, no, that's it, one, one, two, two more zip ties. Have this one if I can salvage it, but I'm still going to need... That's, that's at least two more zip ties for this, and then we still have to figure out what I'm doing with that cord for the control panel, so. I don't even think it's worth trying to salvage that zip tie when we know we need a bunch more. And I need to figure out about doing something with the kill switch key so that it doesn't get lost and drop down. Because if I kill the power now, and the key falls down, I'm not going to be able to get it, which is going to be quite uh, tragic. So, that we've got to determine. I'd say it's been a great morning. I got a video edited. The breeze has been great. It's not too cold, not too hot. It's like low 60s this is perfect weather perfect view to have the water by over here i mean short of running out of zip ties it's a pretty nice nice day so i would like to find though where i put the cutoff switch Did I lose it down in here? <laughs> I don't see it, but I also, I don't know. Ah, there it is, in the back. I threw it back there. Go figure. Ah, there's a zip tie to cut. Okay. Let's cut that. All right. Dobredan! The last day, huh? Last day. Disaster. Disaster. No. Orange. 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 Maybe. Peach. All right, here's our German friends from last night. It looks like they're setting sail straight from the mooring. Which seems crazy to me because normally people power out of this bay here, but they've got the full sails up. So maybe they're gonna get this. I don't see how they're gonna do that because the wind's going this way. So they're going to have to tack, what is it? I think it's called tacking, back and forth to get out. Seems like a difficult task.
slowly but surely. All right, so luckily we were able, we were able, I English me well today, to purchase zip ties to finish off the war of attrition on the zip tie manufacturers of the world. I think this morning I've single-handedly put over 40 or 50 zip ties in the car, and now we're going to put, well, I just bought another 100 more. Certainly hope to not use that, but uh, definitely going to use quite a bit of them. So let's get at it. Ah, and yes, we are back at the workshop of Jacques and it looks like they're a bit busy and it looks like he's also cleared off the workbench which I left full of all of my tools so I feel a little bit bad for that that uh, I didn't come in earlier because we were working by the water okay as fears were that uh, these zip ties are not as high quality as I would have liked this one's like failing to get tight and just completely broke apart. <laughs> ah, lovely. This one seems to be better, but I think the best thing to do is to now double them up. I was worried about this, and this is why when I was in Romania in anticipation for finishing this project, I got the fancy German-made zip ties from the Hornbach. Well, I mean, Chinese made but overseen by a German company these ones are made in Arad Romania and well so far I've had to use three zip ties to do what one German Chinese zip tie would do so yeah it's a bit unfortunate but what can you do Ow, that's a very sharp zip tie there the German sharp zip tie. Let's see if we can cut that off or something. You guys didn't want to see, did you? Okay. Here's another zip tie that, look, it just won't, it just doesn't grab to itself. That's so stupid. Like it was made and proper. Look. It's like not, it's not zip, it's not zipping, it's not tying, zipping, not even zipping. <sighs> it's, so it's a total shame for Romania and Romanians right now that the Chinese made zip ties are outperforming the European made Romanian zip ties. What a shame. Sometimes made in China. Ain't so bad. Okay, well, here's another zip tie that's just like not zipping out of the package. Maybe if you bend the tab forward or something, but this does not. No. This doesn't give me the peach and fuzzies about using these zip ties to hold back my electronics. At least like... 90% of all the zip tying that I need to do has already been done and the last bit of zip tying that I'm doing is on the less crucial things I think all of the significant like big cables I'm worried about have really been zip tied up and it's just these last few cables and connections and things yeah not all zip ties are created equal it's too bad and there's our friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Ow. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Ow. today. Ow. 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 
the dog is kind of biting today. It drew blood even. <laughs> Lovely. Now, when I'm putting all of these screws in the brackets, before I'd previously only used three out of the four holes. And there could be some mentality that you only use three of the holes in case it starts to get loose or something happens, you have that last reinforcement screw to bring it up. But if you're going to fight a war, it's best to send all of your troops in full force because they're the strongest and the most likely chance of success. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And I'm going to with all four screws to have the strongest hold on this bracket. Maybe that goes against the art of war, but I don't know. I'm gonna put a lot of screws in. Screw city! It would work way better if I laid down in here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah. This is the position I'm in. Uh, yeah. Whew. Feels good for the neck. Uh, not. Okay. So this is just temporary holding it, and that swings down like that. So I still have to work out these little swing out mechanisms, but at least it's in. So. His neighbor just came up and he's got a cut across his head and he didn't speak any English. I wish I would have got it on film. And he's like, name him Moses Rakia and starts pointing at his forehead. I think he's looking to get some plum Rakia brandy to put in the cut on his forehead. <laughs> oh Lord.
this is what's going on. Essentially, this controller will go in the top. Bottle tank, bottle tank, and this little piece. From the top, it'll look like this, where the water bottles can sit down snug and they're not bouncing around, clinging each other, going anywhere, and I can put a little rubber around them if I so choose. Yeah. So. Let's put it together. Alrighty. So, there we go. Things all put together. Now, I would like to put some more screws in it, but I don't have any extra, so it is what it is. I think it's decently strong. No, I don't have any right here. Maybe I'll try to steal one more and put it there, two more even. Which means I gotta take some screws away from the rest of them bed frame, but this thing's pretty permanent in a hidden spot. So it's hard to get to with screws, whereas the bed frame I can always pop a new screw in the top. Now, look at this. So the idea is, this will sit in the car, this will sit here, this will sit here, this will pop in here. Still got to figure out how I'm running the wire, but essentially, uh-oh, maybe I put this upside down and it's a little bit tighter on the bottom than the top. Red. Now, why did I leave this front lip? You never know what I might want to mount later. I don't know. Just figured I'd leave it extra support. All right. Ah. See how. Oh, okay. yeah. like, wait a minute. This is not fit. <laughs> okay. So there we are. Now, obviously, to pop this up, you've got to pull the bottles out, but it just clears below it. It's going to sit in there. It'll actually protect the Starlink switch, which I knew I was going to build something like this. That's why I put the Starlink switch here anyway, because I figure nothing's really going to like really get in this corner. And if it does, if it's not like pushing all the way through, it won't be able to snap that like more than just bending it. And it'll still work. Bent. Look at that. That's freaking sweet. Now I just have to figure out I'm going to get the cable into there from over here because this stops here and this starts here. So, yeah. oh yeah, so here's what we got this can pop up and down, and this can, uh oh, uh oh, that's a bit tighter than it's supposed to be, but it fits kind of. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Oh, you know what? I haven't put the bottom screws in yet. So that's why it's it's perched out a little bit. That's why it's doing that. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, uh. All right, let's get this one screw down there. Down deep. So I think I need the extendo on the extendo. All right, let's try that. Okay. 
it also would be nice to have more than one two screws but tight on the bottles. A lot tight on this one. That sucks. So we're going to have to pop the top out a little. cord there runs down and underneath here up into this gray cable down and around loops through there and is there and all of this we'll pack away in there and then that bada bing bada boom perfect because I've moved this but there we go all right look at that look at that lads look at that Let me drop our bottle down in here drop our other bottle down in there that's so cool <laughs> that is so cool so stoked about that because now when I'm driving I can have access to a bottle in the door and a bottle here and a bottle there or I may not have to do the bottle in the door I might free up the door to put other things and then I can just have my bottles here oh that's so sweet <laughs> y'all don't know how sweet that is I've been listening to bottles clank around for 14 months a little ting 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 every time I hit a turn so it's coming together <laughs> One last vacuum. This. Wow. You like that? That's good. My little bottle holder. Very nice. So I can be from the front seat and like grab a bottle. I've got to mess with a little bit of shimming and get a longer, tighter screw in the bottom. But yeah, and then I got that there where I can see it, see what the battery percentage is from the front. Very nice. Yeah, it's, it's I'm sure you get beers the same size. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he thinks about is beer. <laughs> it's like a, a war on beer. That's looking good. Looking very good. And then I got this all looking like that. Yeah, the electrics look good. And it's nice and accessible. Yeah. And I got a kill switch now. Where is that? Back. Back here. Okay. So I can reach it from this back. I just have to pop that back hatch and then... So if your ass starts getting hot while you're sleeping, yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can reach it. Yeah, I mean, it'll take moving some pads around, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Alrighty y'all, 
we just about vacuumed the carpet right out of this thing. Look at this carpet's kind of pulling up. I think these here things are antenners. I'm gonna try to shove them up under the carpet. These things are sticking up. Gotta do something about that. But we almost got this here front panel back on. So I'm gonna first focus on getting that panel on there. I don't know why I'm talking Southern accent today. I'm just excited to get this thing about put together, get about ready to roll. So without further ado, let, let's let's uh, let's do something. We need to tie a string onto this here too. But uh, let's put that panel in. What do you think? Just get your camera set up like so. There you go. All right. Okay. Thing over here, out the way. There you go. I got that essential oil on, keeping them skaters off of me. Them daggum suckers. They stay away now. Do that. Now, question is on this outlet. Is that positive? Yeah, that's positive. So do we want to? shrink tube this onto here that'd probably be the visible thing to do, even just so it like if it pops off you have the shrink tube to keep it from bouncing a bit and touching its uh, self so we're gonna shrink tube this up there we're getting too excited there You know, I bought a brand new lighter in Germany. Totally piece of junk. Thing don't even work. I used it like barely any times. This lighter's all the way from America. Some junk ass lighter I got 10 years ago at Home Depot. It's still kicking strong. She's still kicking. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Now let's make the power of this lighter Drink this tube. This is some, some Serbian heat shrink tube, so see how well it works. Montenegrin. I don't really know where it comes from, but I bought it here. Now, the idea with this is it's not going to hold the wires from coming off of it. But it's going to, where this metal end is metal, where it could, you know, touch other things and short out. The idea is that the heat shrink will keep it tight around there. So if it does, I mean, it's, it's, it's bound to keep it, and I'll tape it up too, but it's bound to keep it from falling off. But if it falls off, it has a little bit extra protection than just having exposed metal laying all around it. You know? That's the idea, folks. That's the idea. Stagum wind blowing through here is nice, but it ain't nice when you're trying to light heat shrink tube. Let me tell you. Heat shrink tube and the lighter, they do not like wind. All right, now let's get some. Okay, it's on the black, we're just gonna use the red. It's some electrical tape. Hey there, look at that. All taped up, all nice, all dandy. Now we just bang up the interior a little bit. Throw this sucker on here. Throw them dickers. Now, just gonna leave it like that or what? Oh, At least tape that hate shrink. Or the, the, that loom. I keep wanting to call it split loom, but it ain't split. We don't even have unsplit loom in America. It's all split loom. The rest of the world, they don't split their loom. 
Weird. Totally weird. Okay, so I'm splitting, not splitting. the bit. I'm fixing to think I need a Phillips, but I did this whole thing with a daggum torch. So this is the right bit. Okay, one down. I wish I had a lot more to go, but I missed some screws. And by missing screws, I mean I stole them to put in that other compartment. So we're going to have to come up with something. Else for them screws, but it ain't gonna be for me. Okay, stay with me a bit. Stay with me now. Now we need to fill up a bit for these suckers. There, now there we go. Pop this sucker. Right, let's just get it out of the way. Oh, buddy, look at that. What's holding this thing? Oh, it's got a hinge out. One hinge out. What's going on? Hinge going the other way. I got a hinge going on the side. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. So it begins. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. It's starting to look pretty good now, ain't it? Let's get the Phillips bit. What's wrong with this thing? Get flat. This hatch, hatchback, ain't no hatchback. This is a fullback. Oh. Screw size we need. Yep, there's one of them. Fixing to replace some of these because these all stripped out. Like that one looks all right, but some of these is all walked away. Or maybe just that one. All right, well, just that one then. We got three, three of what we need. Now here's our American Loctite, and I will tell you, the stuff's better than any of this Euro BS Loctite. This stuff, look, look, watch this stuff. Watch the American Loctite work. Look at that; it just oozes right on there. Easy peasy, easy, easy, easy. None of this weird gooey euro blah 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 and i will tell you that this loctite has been sitting in the roof rack roof box black box on the roof of the car for more than 14 months and it still functions like that the german stuff it does not function like that and it has not been sitting on the top of the car for 14 months it's probably been about four months and it sucks America. America made. Well, I don't know if it's made in America, but it was designed there by winners. Loctite Corporation, da, 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 Ohio, distributed. Made in, doesn't say. But they even got a phone number on there, Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. It just, it better. Better than any old BS Euro, Euro tight, German tight, whatever they call it. Oh, if you have a German tight, this is the best in the world. No, I'll tell you right now, fellas, it ain't. It's the junk, it's the junk of the world. I know. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, this lock tight about Uzi. Uzi Pussy. Oh, that was 
that one looked bent. Oh, that one's trying to go in there all crooked like. What's that all about? So bitch don't go in there bent sideways. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna see about that. Get this sucker on there. God dang American drill. Yeah, buddy, got that day going. Milwaukee with a Dewalt tip, a Milwaukee extension, and a Dewalt. Yeah, well, American. It's American. I make my country proud. Proud, proud. Oh yeah. the Allen key. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about now. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna find ourselves a string for this so we don't lose it. We'll do something with these daggum antennas. We'll be back with you. <sighs> for the record, These are the worst zip ties I've ever seen in my life. I've put in multiple times. And they come out duds. They don't even zip back on themselves. this one ah oh, fucking kidding me another dud what's wrong with these gum zip ties this is some commie bullshit this is ridiculous And it's worse too because you get all in like a spot that's so hard to freaking get to. And the stupid thing don't even zip. Sorry excuse for a freaking zip tie I've ever seen in my life. This company needs to go out of business. This. Be a roll. If you work there, just quit. Go home. You're done. Look, it does, it like, it, you hear it goes, but it doesn't, it doesn't click. Here's another one. Let's see if this one goes. Okay, that one worked. So out of one, two, three, four, the fifth one actually worked. Pathetic. Totally pathetic, guys. Or gas. What? Who's watching? At least that one works. God dang. <laughs> zip tie that zips. Finally, a freaking zip tie that actually zips. <laughs> so stupid. All right. Well, fix it. I think we should put that other fuse in. Alright, so 
now, I'm gonna put that last fuse in for that outlet. I was fixing to think to put a 15 in there. That'll be about perfect. Let's do that. There we go. So, there we are. And actually, you can hit the kill switch from here. So, Starlink's off. The front fuse is off because it's not hooked up up front. And then we need to be leaving in 30 minutes. And we've got roof stuff to strap down. So... I think what we're gonna do is fire this thing up. Here, let's watch over here. Ready? Is it ready? I think so. Look at that. Look at that. 1.8 watts. Now, I don't know what's drawing 1.8 watts, frankly. No clue. Because the shunt shouldn't be 1.8 watts. Or maybe the fridges could be. I don't know. Let's test them. Test the fridge. I haven't cleaned these. So they are still smelling like plastic. Should probably try to air those out overnight. That would be ideal. Be nice to test this outlet too. Let's turn this fridge on. Okay, this fridge just kicked on. It's at 47 watts or 3.4 amps. This one, I can't see if it's coming on. Yep, there we go. Okay, same thing here, it's a little dirty. I hear this one kicking on though. DC 13.7 volts. That one just kicked on. Now we're at why does it say negative? Oh, okay, because it's taken out. Yeah, negative 6.7 amps of draw. Now, I need to set this thing to be like, you know, 300 amp hour batteries. Look at that Skeeter right there. Let's get that. Look. Oh, man, he got away. There's another one right there. Are they getting at me? Where's this oil working? My Skeeters are everywhere. So, dang, I'm crazy. Starlink's off right now. It's off. So we're looking at six amps. I think we'll just we'll leave it running for a little bit. You can hear the fan a little. Let's see if you can hear it on the other side. It's looking good though. Look at that. over here yeah you can hear it listen all right well that's a fridge in look at that it's, <laughs> it's great advertising for Dometic right there bold and open totally cool All right, y'all, I think it's time to take the show on the road. We got about 30 minutes to put the roof rack back together. Unfortunately, this thing has mildewed up. As you can see there, it is just full of mildew because that thing's leaked water. I need to put a dry bag in there and clean, throw out all of that tape and stuff I put in there. All this rain just wreaked havoc. I haven't even opened this front one yet. I think tomorrow we'll open all these, try to clean everything out, see what's going on, inventory everything. But I think... Just close it up for now. Try to get out of here because these skeeters are now starting to bite again. And I want to get that drawer in first. And then we'll hoot the boogie. All right, y'all. It is almost done. Look at this. The electronics are working. Fridges are on and hooked up. And now this thing's the only thing I gotta finish is this little thing pops up and then I gotta make these hinges to pop out with a piece of metal right there. And I've even made this little water bottle holder thing here where you can just pop your water bottles down in there like that. I can have 
two bottles while I'm driving on each side. I've got my Starlink switch. I've got even all of the electronics right here. As you can see, check that out. Then, of course, I got you know, one side's fridge, one side's freezer over here. Got this little pop-up panel. Gonna have storage down in there. What I'm about to do is put this drawer back in, and I still need to build the drawer for that side and some mesh netting on each side. So, got a little bit more work to do, but getting close. Okay, we're back in Big of a Bay and had a little lunch and the sun has like insanely fast gone down. So time to get a little work here done. I'm going to try to drill this drawer so that I can properly affix and attach it. And uh, yeah. is get this the right altitude and this will line up. I think that will be the right altitude. Let's see. Not tap it. 
drill it once. Clamp, whatever it is, let's find it. 